Broken Arrow Public Schools are looking into redistricting in order to keep class sizes small with the fast-growing city. News Channel 8's Tanya Modorzitski hears what this means for families of one of the top 10 largest districts in the state. As the city of Broken Arrow breaks ground on new housing developments and more families move to the area, Bridget Powell with the Broken Arrow School District says they're seeing 100 middle school classrooms with 30 or more students in them, which tells her two things need to happen. That we really need to look at a boundary change um, to accommodate those numbers in order to uh, equalize um, our middle school sites. The other is the new Sequoia 8th grade academy opens next fall and they need students to be in the building. She says redistricting will allow that to happen too. We really need to balance our middle school sites. Uh, we don't we don't necessarily need a new site altogether. We need to balance the sites and then populate our Sequoia 8th grade academy. During Wednesday night's school board meeting is when the district announced they're looking into redistricting your proposals. She says the district is still surveying the areas and redistricting may take a year or two. Powell says redistricting won't push any families into other school districts. It just may cause a longer commute for some. One middle school is a mile and a half from them and the, the middle school that they're being rezoned is four miles away from them because we have to draw the boundary somewhere. By keeping class sizes smaller, Powell says this will help with students' academic success. Because it is what's best for our students and it's what's best for instruction. And we know that when we have class sizes that are conducive um, to everyone getting what they need in the classroom, that our behaviors are lower, um, our test scores are higher, our, our retention, our learning retention is higher, and so that, that's hard to argue with, um, and that is a priority. In the next 30 or 45 minutes, there will be a parent forum starting on discussions about the redistricting. It's going to happen from 6 to 730 at Central on Main in the Rose District. Now the district will answer any questions you have and also tell you what that process for redistricting and rezoning will be like. Live, Tanya Motorziski, News Channel 8.